Welcome to Digging Deeper, where we help you lock eyes with Jesus and take a step towards Him. Today's scripture reading is Romans chapter 8, verse 28. God's Word says this, And we know that those who love God, all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. Now, sometimes this verse can be misused as simply just a band-aid for um, a really bad situation, but I want us to look at it really specifically and intentionally so that we can get out of it what I think God and what Paul intended for it. It says that, that God works all things together for good. Now, this is in no way saying that all things are good that we should never call evil things good or good things evil, that there is awful evil that takes place in this world, undeserved, unfair evil that takes place. And what God is, what we're not saying is that God is the author of that evil, but what we are saying is that God in his power and majesty and grace, he has a way of using that evil for good, that he turns what what one was meant for evil for good, that he's able to harmonize these evil things in order to use them for the ultimate good and for his ultimate glory, that that God loses no battle, that there is, there is no war lost, that ultimately God God will use all things to work together for his good. And the other reality is that this may, this working together for good, it may be in this life or it may be in the next. That we are not promised that all things will be, that we will even be able to acknowledge or recognize that all things have been, been used for good. So it may be in this life, it may be in the next, but we do trust that for those of us who have been called according to his purpose, that God is going to work all things together for good and for his glory. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you for your word. And I pray that by the power of your spirit, Romans chapter 8, verse 28, would change us into the likeness of Christ. And Lord, I pray today that we would, um, God, find such hope and such comfort, Father, that you use all things to work them together for good. Father, we, we just acknowledge today that you're not the author of evil nor the, the cause of these terrible things, but God, you have promised that you will leverage them and work them together for good in this life or in the next. So God, I pray that we would cling to you today. Lord, we pray this now in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.